Fads have always been a part of American culture. First there was the hula hoop, then mood rings, and pet rocks. Now the latest craze to envelop the country is gerbil mania. Gerbils have become a much sought after household item. Now that gerbils have taken America by storm, we at Channel 14 thought you, the viewer, might be interested in seeing how gerbils may one day affect your life. Gerbils have proved to be a boon to the average homemaker. Their small, easy-to-grip bodies fit conveniently into the palm for easy and effective scrubbing. See how their little backs slide right around the pan? And nothing beats the soft, furry body of the gerbil for polishing furniture, windows, or mirrors. There now, all clean. But wait, you're not finished with that little fuzzball yet. Gerbils are also good for shoe buffing for that Sunday morning shine or stuffing the bottle that holds the wine. Yes, gerbils are becoming an important part of every American's day-to-day -day life. With the increasing use of gerbils, there has been a sizable boom in the gerbil industry. So here with us today is Terry Pirtle, a man who knows gerbils, a man who traps gerbils, and is thus trapped by them. Tell us, Terry, tell us about the beauty and strength of the noble gerbil and why you started trapping them. Well, you see, the bottom fell out of the chipmunk market. I didn't like them chipmunks much anyway. Mean? <laughs> Whoa, are they mean? Anyway, I heard about gerbils were going to be the new thing, so I decided to go and trap me a few of the little boogers. They ain't as mean as them chipmunks. Tell us, Terry, how do you go about trapping them? Now, let's see. I learned you got to get the confidence of the beasts. How, how do you do that? Well, sometimes I play cards with them or do something to get them on my side. Some of them are kind of suspicious, though, and I got to hit them on the head with a little hammer sometime and kind of stun them. But then I grab them by their tails and jerk them up and put them on my line. Let's see. Hmm, that, that is interesting. Hmm. Of course, there are those who do not approve of the new gerbil industry. One such organization is SOG, Save Our Gerbils. The head spokesperson for that organization is here with us today, Miss Betty Rubble. Tell us, Miss Rubble, why does your group why is your group so outraged with the gerbil industry? Gerbils? We're not worried about gerbils. We're here to save the albatross. I don't give a damn about gerbils. Uh perhaps gerbils aren't for everyone. But this reporter feels that they have a place in American society today. Although originally from Russia, gerbils are now cultivated mainly in the United States. Tomorrow night on Action 14 News, our active chopper will visit the largest gerbil hatchery in the U.S. And we'll take a look at a roving pack of wild gerbils in the northern forest of Snellville, Georgia. Until tomorrow, this is Chuck Sargentson saying, may you find a use for your gerbils.